dear listeners and followers, thanks for your interest in the voice of truth. I am addressing this day an issue that has been of concern to many. It is the issue of spirit husbands and spirit wives. Many people, single and married, are victims of spirit husband or spirit wives. Who is a spirit husband or spirit wife? A spirit husband or spirit wife is a spirit that comes in form of a human to have intercourse with a man or woman in his or her dream. The activity is sometimes so intense that the one who is having the dream feels as if it is real. A victim of such an evil spirit will find it difficult to either get pregnant or impregnate his wife or even get into a relationship that could lead into marriage. This spirit being is evil. It is not of God. The activity of this spirit is not limited to married couples, spinters, or bachelors also have these experiences. In the case of singles, the victim will find it difficult to get married. Pregnant women also have this experience. When it happens to a pregnant woman, there is a high possibility of miscarriage. The activities of this evil spirit are not limited to productive life. It could also hinder one from making any form of progress financially, it is it. The activity of the spirit husband or wife is not due to the victim's promiscuity or the urge for sex, not at all. Usually, the spirit husband or wife is a is as a result of an evil covenant. One may have sealed knowingly or unknowingly, or an affliction of the enemy that wants to truncate the destiny of the victim. For instance, a woman who, in the course of looking for a child, may visit a herbalist. This was the practice of many African settings before the introduction of Christianity. She could get pregnant, but before then, the herbalist would have told her to bring some items for sacrifice. Once that is done, she gets pregnant and bears a child. What is unknown to the woman who consulted the herbalist is the source of the child, who gave the child. What were the terms? Since there is no free lunch even in the spirit world, the condition may be the dedication of that child to the God who gave the birth who gave the child in the first place. The influence of spirit husband or wife could make IVF unsuccessful. For as long as the spirit spouse maintains its holds on the victim, even IVF is likely to fail. In other cases, it could be attack from people, especially relations who do not wish the victim success in certain areas of life. Before you blame some parents for their consent to this evil covenant, the truth is those who get them involved never told them such a bound exist or the source of the children. A particular demon may take the child as a wife or husband or limit the child's progress. This secret is never known until the child grows up, may never be known until a superior spiritual power reveals it. How does the spirit operate? It comes to the victim in a dream, in human form, in most cases wearing the faces of people known to the victim. It could be the face of the lady's former boyfriend, a colleague in office, the face of her father, or even the face of her fiance or husband. It could even be the face of a fellow church worker, or even a pastor, as the case may be. At other times, the identity is completely vague. How to handle it? The way to handle this is not to make enemies unnecessarily. Oftentimes, those whose faces are seen in the dreams are innocent. So don't go fighting wrong battles that could not strain your relationship with the innocent persons. Let me share with you two cases. One is that of a married woman and the other a single lady. For the married woman who had been waiting for about 15 years, she was a victim of regular intercourse from her spirit husband. The first effect was that the couple got alienated sexually, where husband and wife are distanced sexually. How can pregnancy occur? Even with the best of treatment from doctors, she never got pregnant and this created tension in the home. After a long search for children, she decided to stop visiting the herbalist. 
challenge was so intense that even in some churches where she went for vigil, the spirit husband remained having intercourse with her. Finally, she started attending a Pentecostal church with a focus on childbearing. During one of the services, it was revealed by a word of knowledge. Those behind the attack were all women related to her and her husband. The good news is that finally, God have God gave her a breakthrough and she had a son. In the case of the single lady, wherever she was in relationship that was leading to marriage, the fiance would call it off. Unknown to her, a spirit husband had been attacking the men who proposed to her. She knew someone was having intercourse with her in her dream. She didn't know. That was why her relationships never ended in marriage. Meanwhile, one of the men she had relationship with got bold enough to tell her this man had a dream in which another man appeared beat him black and blue and told him to leave his wife alone the young man knew he was not in relationship with any other person except this beautiful lady so the message was very clear the beating according to the young man was so intense that when he woke up it was as if pepe had been poured on his body. So he got up, he told the lady and cut off the wedding. Now, this is not the best approach to handle this spiritual challenge. The word of God sets free. The word of God is adequate and those who have the opportunity to have genuine deliverance may go for it. Victims can protect themselves with the word of God. Let me recommend the following Bible passages. Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17. The victim may read this every night with a prophetic declaration that he or she is free from any covenant with spiritual husband or wife. This should be done repeatedly before she goes to bed. Also useful is James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Pray this also several times before going to sleep with a declaration that you are free from any influence of the enemy. Anyone in this situation needs not give up. Just keep trusting God and doing the right things and your breakthrough will come. It is well with you. Keep praying. Be prayerful about it. Trust in God and meet God and the Lord will set you free. It's a case that needs to be handled with care, with much prayer.